All right, so I thought I'd do a bit of a breakdown of this, uh, my latest track. Um, this is the way. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd just give you a smash on, you know, what I sampled and, you know, how it all sort of fitted together. So I took a sample from this record. Wait, let me just show that on the right speed there. So I think I took one from here. Yeah. So I took one from here as well. This is the way that I believe it happened. Um, I basically took, there you go, standing alone. It's gotta be that one. Took an amen Won't you and an acapella. So I took that. Somewhere in there. There you go. Took an amen from there. I took the kind of ravey stab. Oh, this pad. Yeah, took that pad. And then. Yeah, so I took a stab from there. Let's nip over here. I got this uh, electro box set that was my stepdad's classic. This is a Street Sounds release. I don't know if you guys know about Street Sounds, but definitely uh, worth looking into that history. So this uh, Break Dancing Electric Boogie has got the Apache on it. So there you go. Yeah. So there's a bunch of scratching on it, but we have, we have an Apache. All right, so I just run through everything that's in the S950. So we've got a few chops from that, that record. There's the Apache. I didn't use, oh no, I did use that. That's one sampled into Ableton, pitched down and then sampled back into the sampler. Didn't, didn't use that. Obviously used that, used that. Oof, that's big. Oof, better turn that down. That'll upset a few people. So yeah. Bit of an 808 there. So I normally have brakes and basses in the 950. There you go, turn that up a bit. Big dirty one there. Just ran through the desk and distorted a bit. Obviously a classic reverse bass. Another really dirty one. Bit of a Reese, very noisy Reese, but it all adds. And then I do actually use the tone a fair bit as well. And then um, in the 2000, let's see if we ain't got any sound there. So I've got these, my auditions. So I have a channel coming out to audition stuff from the samplers here. So these are, that's actually a sound from the JV. Um, you can actually get right in there and, and do some stuff with LFOs and all sorts of business and it's quite good fun. So I did a little session sampling bits from the JV. So I normally use the um, 2000 for like additional sound effects. I'll put vocals in there, some pads and stuff and um, some breaks that I want to run through the LFOs in here. Um, obviously you've got a little bit more uh, functionality with the 2000 than you do with the 950 but obviously the 950 just sounds wicked so we've got these sort of sounds here let's see let's go back oh not that stuff like that there 
think some of these are from uh, your Jungle Warfare sample CDs. Guns. Classic. Reggae feel there. So yeah, as you see, all the sound effects, that's from my um, monotribe there. Really useful for all that kind of stuff. So another spin there, skid. There you go, there's from that, um, it's from that record back there. But obviously I just used like the stab and pitched it on the keyboard. That is just beautiful, man. Amazing vocal. Incredible, credible. Look at that, that's Incre from a sample CD. Kick, 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 kick. Let the bass kick, the bass These are from another session, actually. <laughs> that's from, uh, I sample YouTube a fair bit. Just look for stuff on YouTube. Obviously, that's from a sample CD. I didn't use that in this track. They're all from another track. What a master, la la. It's from a TV show. These are all from TV shows. That's a sample CD. TV show. A sample CD. This is the way. There you go. So that's from that record. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. You know, you chop, chop up each word and then you can play around with it. There's my reggae. Woo! Wicked love it. There's the vocal. There's that one. So, yeah. All that stuff is in there. There's your pad, looped at the end, and then we're down to the ones that come in the 950. So there's that, I mean the 2000, there's that, and then I think I used the pad on the uh, JV. There you go, it's the rotary pad. I think that's all I used from there. And then there's some other additional sounds coming from the um, MC307, I've taken to using the rhythm channel. So obviously you're, you're stuck with the MIDI uh, channels that are on here. So I have to make sure I leave them open. So you've got one to seven and then drums are on at 10, but you can edit your patch and go in and change the sounds that are on each pad. So I've been using that. I think I just took a kick and a snare would have been that and uh, maybe that snare from here and I think they're riser sound actually let's see if there's a I right, use this smooth jet sound that was definitely in the track uh, didn't use a piano oh it did actually that's the piano I used for the lead part uh, kick menu there, and I think, yeah, just a riser sound on the rhythm track somewhere. One of those. Anyway, there's a riser sound in there that you hear that's from 307. All right, what we got? <laughs>
This is the way that I believe it happened.
This is the way that I believe it happened. There you go. I'm going to get on with something else now. Enjoy your day.